That is an owl. And yeah, I got swooped. Just wait until you see how I react. All that and more in today's trail test. What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Trail Tested where I get to put gear to the test for the very first time. Today, we have some big hitters in the shoe department. It's gonna be fun. Let's go for a run. All right, so first let's talk about what shoes we're going to run in today. I'm actually really excited about these. These have both been kind of sitting in my gear pile waiting for today's trail tested. From Adidas, it is the Agravic Flow 2. Already still has the tag on it, we'll take it off, but uh, super fun, fairly lightweight shoe, but more minimal, I guess. This one should be interesting. We're gonna do some good testing in that today. Uh, the real star of today's video, I think, is gonna be this. This is the Nike Ultra Fly. It's Zumax midsole, it's got a fly plate inside. This is a prototype that I think doesn't come out until next year, but it's one that I've been super, super stoked to run in. I know that Tyler Green wore this at Western States this year, so it is like a shoe that, I don't know, I'm drooling over at this point. Can't wait to run in it, should be super fun. As for where we are, it's Tiger Mountain. This is some of the best trail running just outside of Seattle. It provides pretty much everything that we need for a trail testing environment. We've got our trail tested loop, which is about four miles, includes a mile of flat, some vert, some rolling, and some technical descending. We also have the trail tested low loop, which we'll be using today, I think, to test the ultra flies, just because it's fast. It has a little bit of vert, not so much technicality. Should be super fun to try to maybe push the pace a little bit. But I think we're gonna start with the Adidas. So let's get these bad boys on, shall we? Yeah! Adidas trail shoes right out of the box are always so stiff. They take so much break in. And the Flow 2 already, I can tell, fall into that same category. One thing that always bugs me, trail shoes these days that don't have gusseted tongues. So this does not have a gusset on either side. I, I just don't know why anyone's not doing that these days. All right, first few steps. Classic parking lot test. Yeah, they're stiff for sure, right out of the box. But that is the point of trail tested. Uh, okay, so we're gonna actually head out into the shade because I decided to wear all black today on one of the hottest days of the week. I'm an idiot, so let's get out of the sun. <laughs> all right, first few steps. Yeah, I can absolutely tell these are Adidas trail shoes. They're definitely stiff, and that is that midsole. It has a little bit of life, very responsive, not a lot of give. So I have a feeling these are gonna be super protective and great on more technical stuff, rocks and things. Again, we'll spend the first mile sort of flat, kind of breaking them in, getting warmed up. Then we're gonna head up section line and have some fun. You know, I'm gonna call an audible today. Rather than go out on this flat surface and then go up section line, I wanna go up Nook. Nook is one of my favorite trails. Nice and steep. Take a sharp left off a bus trail and head up the lush and beautiful Nook Trail. This trail is great because it kind of starts with a little bit of running and just gradually increases steepness. Some rocks, some roots, some stuff to play in. The reality is you get as much vert as you do at the beginning of section line. It takes you up to the Talus Trail, which we love. Yeah, I just really like this trail. This should be fun. Across this cute little bridge. And uh, this is where it starts to get a little steeper as we go up. But so far, just the first few steps in this shoe, I don't know, it's a little lifeless. And that's sort of what I end up getting a lot of the times in brand new Adidas trail shoes. They open up with more miles than as you break them in. But man, sometimes that takes 50, 60, 70 miles to get to that point. If you're a big fan of ground feel, the Flow 2 certainly has it. Tons of lugs on the outsole. Should be getting a ton of grip, but we'll wait for the more technical sections with exposed rock and stuff. A little gravelly through here. Everything's a little loose. Doing pretty well through that, actually. I didn't expect that with how close all the lugs are. Zigzagging up the steep section. It doesn't help. Still steep. Beautiful trail. I love this one. Super lush and green. Even in the peak of summer, on an 85 degree day, still looks great. It's nice and humid here in the bushes. 
I say nice and I mean not nice. Black shirt was a bad choice. Hi, dog. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. We had a comment on the last trail tested about all the trails are so smooth. There isn't a single piece of technical terrain or whatever. The essence is there. I have to agree. Tiger Mountain is not the most technical trail that we have around here. It certainly has its areas that can be super technical. <sighs> but it doesn't have to be technical to be hard. <laughs> So many cute dogs today out on the trail. I love a good dog day. The great thing about doing all of these trail tested videos on Tiger, one, it's close to the city, it's convenient, but two, I can get a four, five, six mile loop in with varied terrain, get a 1, thousand, 1500, 2000 feet of vert, but I'm not far from my car if for some reason a new product gives me a blister or chafing, or I have to swap out. So I can go get my, my run, test out the gear, switch to new gear, go get some more miles, change it up if I need to. It's just great. All right, this is where it gets a little punchy. So we'll come up this steeper terrain, a little loose. Yeah, good grip through here. Again, I just feel the stiffness of that outsole and the midsole. They're not very forgiving, but protective. So that's kind of a catch 22. Before we get to the top, we'll hit one mile. Yeah, about 850 feet of vert. Yeah. Love this section. Here we are, Talus Trail. So Talus Rocks Trail is the same trail we used to connect over to Cable Line. That's what we're gonna do today put these shoes through the test on the descent. But for now, let's have some fun. Already, okay, hold up. I have to retie. They are already loose. So this ankle material, super stiff, and which means I'm gonna have to double lace here do the little, little ankle lock system because of that extra stiffness my ankle wants to slide out. I noticed it right as I got to flat terrain again, so I'm glad we chose this route. Tighten up the whole shoe. I tend to do this on a lot of my running shoes, but it just gives you that extra security around the ankle. The heel slipping is reduced. Okay, double laced both shoes. Let's continue on. Oh, much better. Yeah, less heel slippage for sure. Those are the Talus Rocks. Giant erratics up and through. It's a little rooty. Get those stairs. All right, a little technical through the rocks. That's fine. Good grip on dry, rocky surface. Love this little rooty section up ahead. Might take it a little slow, just because the ankles are a little loose. Oh yeah, totally good. Okay, just off that rooty section. You know, they're holding up pretty well through this loose stuff. You know, I was expecting the traction in these to not be great. Cable line will be the ultimate test. They're gonna require a ton of break-in, because that upper material, it's stiff. The ankle is really stiff. Got our little defunct bridge. Crossing here, stay to the left. Whoa, almost fell off like an idiot. You idiot. They definitely like lend themselves to the feeling that you're running fast, even though I know I'm not. Like they want to go fast. This is as fast as I go. You probably can't see it on camera, but there's a ton of loose rock just sitting right on the surface. So I'm like consciously trying to tread carefully. Let's see if there's water going across. There's barely any, just a trickle. That's it, that's my water crossing. Ooh, that feels good. Nice and cold. 
Those shoes are holding on to it. Tough to say anything about the drainage. There's so little water in that crossing. We're just making our way up West Tiger 3. We'll turn left on the cable line in a second. Going through my water bottle like crazy, trying to stay hydrated. It's hot, it's humid, it's beautiful. Alrighty, this will be a fun descent. Good test of the grip of these things. Had good experiences so far. Let's see if they hold up on cable line. Because everything's so loose, I might pull back a little bit. Ooh, big tree. That's new. Look at this guy. It's gonna need some chopping. Hot step, hot step. Hi there. You know, I know most of this run was sort of knocking the stiffness of the shoe, the platform. Oh, those are loose. But honestly, I get it now. The stiffness of the shoe is actually helping on the rockier terrain. Why did I go this way? That's loose. That's not great. That extra stiffness adds protection and it keeps your foot from rolling around too much and flexing and giving you a little too much movement. So it actually works pretty well when you have a lot of sharp little points sticking out of the ground. The shoes are actually keeping pretty decent grip despite my predictions. As we kind of move through the final bit of cable line, I'm noticing that my right big toe is a hot spot on the medial side of that. And on the left ankle, the ankle collar right on the Achilles is rubbing hot spot as well. Adidas material choice is always so questionable. Everything is so rugged and durable. But man, at what expense? I'm like kind of bummed. Hello, tree. Last half mile or so of our loop with the Agravic Flow 2. Could be a good chance for me to summate my thoughts thus far. So the run started promising. The traction, the underfoot protection. But now my toe hurts, my Achilles hurts. So here's what's up. This part right here sticks up so high and is so stiff that my Achilles is getting all rubbed raw, red. I mean, I'm gonna hopefully keep it from blistering up. I got a lot of sock behind there, but man, that is just so stiff and requires so much break in. It's so frustrating. Alrighty. It's a bummer because I want them to work. And I know there's some of the best athletes in the world that run in these. But for a mid-packer like me, maybe they won't work. So honestly, time will tell with these. I have a lot more miles to run in them. Let them really open up. So expect you know, possible changes in my opinions, but we shall see. Let's get to the car and switch. I cannot wait to switch into those cushy Nikes. Get the Adidas off. Yeah. Let's get the Nikes on. Super excited about these. We're gonna get them sweaty and dirty today. That's for sure. Oh yeah, but already feels better. Just more room. I might actually double lock these as well, just preemptively. Okay, yeah. Oh, the bounce. I'm so fast, I'm so fast. But right out of the box, first few steps. Big difference from the Adidas. Everything just feels more comfortable by a long shot. If you can't tell, I'm running a five minute mile right now. These shoes are crazy. We're gonna go up Nook again, just like we did with the Adidas, but we'll go down section line to sort of test some of the descent ability of these things. I just wanna run more in these. Yeah, you know, there's just something to be said about a shoe that's just fun to put on, fun to run in, you know, something to get you out the door, log some miles, kind of inspire you to go a little bit further a little bit faster. So the shoe truly feels different than any other Nike trail shoe that I'm running in right now. The midsole is just, it's fantastic. It's very reminiscent of a lot of the road offerings. I didn't know if it would work on the trails, but obviously many more miles to come. The carbon plate 
always sort of questionable. Is it gonna work on trails? Is it gonna provide protection? In this case, I can feel it, but it's not intrusive. Like it's not taking away from ground feel. So that's sort of initially what I'm realizing. I was expecting a big mound of midsole and that the shoes would feel really floaty, but they don't, they're wider and they have a nice low stack. Yeah, ground feels much better than I anticipated. As I slowly come into view of the camera, you'll see a giant sweat ball crossing this bridge. Running what, three and a half minute miles, do you think? Just flying? <laughs> Tyler Green, man, eat your heart out. These are the shoes that Tyler placed top 10 at Western States this year. Absolute beast. Man, I see why. They're fast, they're fun, they're light, comfy. These shoes are entirely too white. So let's get them dirty. Here we go. That's better. <laughs> oh yeah, so much faster, so much faster. Now my hand is disgusting. I remember when Brooks released the Catamount trail shoe. It was also white. And their whole point was make your own story, get your shoes dirty, make memories. I can say that my story with these shoes was about a mile and a half into a run and I just put dirt on them. That's it. Shrooms, baby. Yeah, man. Shrooms. You know, I feel like these shoes are gonna be marketed towards the front of the pack, the elite of the elite. They're gonna be like the fastest trail shoe or whatever. And that's kind of a bummer because I do feel like a lot of shoes can work for a lot of people, no matter your pace or where you normally finish. I don't know how much these shoes are gonna retail for. I've kind of avoided online discussions and thoughts early on. I like to come in fresh. I just imagine they're gonna be overpriced. There's a lot of tech that Nike's putting into these and they're gonna charge you for it. And that sucks. I really want a Zoom X trail shoe that's kind of affordable, approachable for everyone. Whew, I am sweating out of every pore. Why am I running? Oh, so steep. These shoes just make me want to run. Much to the chagrin of my lungs. Blah. Talus, let's hang a right. Okay, real talk. I try to film as much of me running in the shoes as possible. It is hot today and humid. And I'll be honest, all I want to do is hike. I'm not going to lie to you and say like, I run the whole thing, look. Uh, we just did like 850 feet of vert in 0.8 miles. I just want to walk for a second. <laughs> the shoes are great for walking. I like to consider myself an elite power hiker. Boop boo. Should put that on a t-shirt. Ooh, nice through there. All right, so traction as we head down section line. Nice fun descent. Traction's okay. I'm noticing that the lug depth is not super extreme. So on this looser, kind of gravelly, dusty stuff, it's working, but my footing is not as sured as I'd hoped. Yeah, Nike has this sticky rubber on the bottom of these guys. And uh, on rock surfaces or root surfaces, it's sticking for sure. Uh, I'd be super curious how these handle wet conditions. Whoa. Cool little bridge crossing. Last time we came across this for trail tested, it was very wet, very slippery. Today, dry as a pancake. Dry as a pancake, what is that? Yeah, nice through here. I was expecting a little bit of traction issues because some of this is loose and gravelly, but they're doing well and protective. The platform is super wide, so I am getting good purchase, but it does get wobbly because of the midsole being softer. All right, that's gonna be it for section line. So we're about two miles on the watch, thousand feet of vert. We're gonna follow the tiger claw course and go up and over adventure. 
and we'll probably go back on like a cool big tree trail. Sunshine. Oh, such a nice day. So warm <laughs> and hot. This is also where we run into a ton of bears regularly. The little family that lives here. Oh, it's so much cooler in here. Got a little water. Oh, feels nice. I'm so sweaty. All right, we're gonna hang a right and go up and over Adventure Trail. Quick little punchy climb, followed by the flowy descent. We saw it last trail tested. Love this connector. Part of the Tiger Claw course. Tiger Claw! Love this tree. Swoop! Hey, get up that hill. Get up that hill, Ginger. I do wanna point out, I'm noticing now after that climb, the volume in the shoe is like kind of increased a little bit, like things are kind of stretching out and breaking in. What I wish had happened in the Adidas is that these shoes are pretty voluminous. They have a nice wide toe box, which is excellent, but they do allow a little bit of foot movement. Whew, almost time for some descending. <sighs> Over 9,000! The Zumex and longevity, durability. I'm worried, you know, I'm a bit bigger guy and I tend to wear through foams. I'm wondering if the Zumex is gonna hold up to everything I can throw at it, all my runs. Is it designed for only the elite? Another sort of long-term test I plan on doing in these. Hi there, pups. Hi there. <laughs> you know, it does pretty well in the loose stuff, surprisingly. Even with lower lugs. Adventure Trail was a success. Shoes are still feeling good. Let's go out into the sunlight and connect over to the big tree trail. Watch your head, watch your legs, watch for bears. <laughs> oh God. A lot of blackberries. And we'll take a ride on big tree trail. Nice flowy single track. Not techy at all but a good test of maybe picking up the pace a bit. Put that carbon plate to the test. Love this stretch. Just open up your stride, have some fun. It's not technical at all. Just really fun to kind of flow through the trees. So yeah, this shoe I can tell just wants to go fast. It feels good when you do, when you pick up the pace. I'm excited to see them utilize these materials more and the rest of their trail line, that'll be cool. This is Big Tree Trail, named in part because of the big tree. It's huge, it's been here forever. Welcome to the primordial forest, once roamed by the ancient dinosaur. On your left, you might spy the old remnants of a tar field that swallowed dinos whole. On your right, a ginger sweating his ass off on the verge of throwing up because it's just too hot. All right, out into the daylight. Cross over this power cut. A little rocky through here. Watch your eyes. Okay, so let's put together my thoughts, my initial thoughts here on the Ultrafly Trail from Nike. Man, they are fun. They are super fun. And despite the fact I'm a mid-packer, you know, I'm an average runner, they feel really good. The things I'm concerned about, and this will take some more testing, is the balance. Just kind of felt a little uh, rocky, depending on the surface that you're on, like things kind of want to move around a bit. That midsole is very absorbent. Volume, there's a lot of volume. Those of you who have wider feet, you'll probably appreciate that. What I'm noticing is just, it's gonna require some extra lockdown. And then durability. These are all things I re don't really know how they're gonna hold up all these elements and materials. So what a fun day though. And to be able to compare these two shoes, so dramatically different, uh, really hard to compare them actually. It'd be like comparing a birthday cake that you get at a grocery store to like pan of chocolate from France. You wanna eat them both, but they both, that's a terrible comparison because I kind of want to eat both of them. Anyways, it's like, oh, Jesus, oh my God. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. 
That was an owl that was not happy to see us. We will keep our eyes open. <laughs> keep our eyes open. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever made a noise like that, but the fact that we got that on camera, I'm going to replay that noise in my head over and over and over. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> so when you're running on tiger, we've seen tons of bears in the last few months. We see owls all the time, but I'll tell you, that was one of the closest swoops that I've had in a while. And I was in the middle of thinking, like I was in the middle of talking, so it oh, totally caught me off guard. How you doing, camera guy? Oh my God. Am I, did I poop my pants? It's all part of running on Tiger. You're gonna encounter wildlife at some point. They were here first. We are lucky to be here. Honestly, we're at the end of the trail run. So what a way to say farewell. Let's just wrap up this last 10th and try not to shit ourselves. Okay, let's go. And done. What an awesome, awesome trail tested. All right. Let's get these shoes off and get some final thoughts. And that, my friends, wraps up today's trail tested episode. Had an absolute blast running in these two shoes, the Adidas Agravic Flow 2 and the Nike Ultra Fly Trail. So again, these were just initial impressions, first thoughts, first run. Uh, I'll be doing many, many more runs in these shoes, get lots more miles. I'll have more thoughts. So expect the full reviews of both of them on the channel soon. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll be notified as soon as I upload those. If you would like, consider joining the GR crew. Head on over to patreon.com slash the ginger runner. All tiers get access to some really fun perks, including furthering the discussion of these products and many, many more. So consider joining the crew. It's an awesome, awesome community. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I'm getting eaten alive by bugs. Oh, Jesus! <laughs>